three, two, one. Okay, guys, so if you recognise where I am now and where I stand in this world, you will absolutely love this video. Hello, boys and girls, Thomas here, and today I'm back with another video. And today, as you can see from the screen, we are on Minecraft as normal, we'll say normal, as per tradition, but we are on a slightly different world. So, the plan, guys, for today's video is to explore. What I would like to just mention now, the first ever Minecraft world I went on, ever, and I probably went on, I've probably been playing Minecraft for six years now, around that time, so around 2014, 2015, I bought Minecraft for the Xbox 360 edition, and that, that Minecraft, because we didn't, we didn't actually have Xbox Live, was a Minecraft version... I think it was like 1.3 or something, a bit ridiculous like that. So this is what that world was based on. So if some things are wrong or slightly in different places compared to what they usually are, then I'm sorry. Also guys, webcam as well. I've started doing that, but I've had a little fancy board around the side. I've also got a new microphone, the Blue Snowball Ice. I don't really know if you can see that or not, but this should be a lot better than my old ones and yeah so let's let's just start with the tour i'm excited for this so i haven't done any research on this at all i just found the world and thought you know what let's hop into it and let's try and bring back some memories so you start off here and basically what it what the tutorial tells you to do in the top right i can i can remember all of this is to basically finish off this house and i'm gonna try as we go along to do each thing it tells you to do some things like breeding i'm not going to do but other th like brewing and stuff but other things i will so it just tells you to do that maybe make a door i have forgotten though and then we move on back here here i don't believe it tells you what to do i think it just says you know what pistons should move like this that's pretty cool then over here you have the redstone section and then here what you can do is just hop in here and then just mess around with it. So I, used to, I think I did this for like a day as well. It was kind of ridiculous. And I think this is the boat section. And I think that's fishing rods over there. So let's get a look. Yep. And like I said, this was amazing for me back then. I used to stand. I used to sit here for, for hours just going around the tutorial world trying to find out what to do. And then the next thing I do might shock you. I then picked up. I then picked up some wheat seeds in my hand and i kid you not the first thing i said was look mum i have a grass sword <laughs> oh so i didn't look at the name obviously when i pulled it out in my hot bar and i used i was running around like punching everything punching everything with this and going look i have a grass sword i have a grass sword yeah it wasn't a grass sword here you have the fishing rods and they basically just tell you to sit here and fish for a bit fair enough they did the thing and then that is really all this main area had to offer and i say that and i say that in like a tone as if it's bad that is not a bad thing at all this really was an amazing amazing world and next so what i did next was i think yeah the creeper i think the creeper always spawns here and just like is always here to like tell you to fight it and stuff i think that's what it's all just do but what i did on the first night in this world is a bit weird so what i did was i blocked this up like that and i covered the floor in what i then thought was blood <laughs> i was a dark dark eight year old i think i was eight anyways this is what i did this was what i'd call this is how i survived my first night i also uh, did this that's all my next moving on through the very nicely blocked up tunnel here we have the castle and this okay is so nostalgic for me every single what i don't even know uh so if you come over if you go to the left i don't really spend much time in this room but here you had the enchanting table and this is just this is just to give you a tutorial on like enchanting and stuff and how uh, useful it was in the game and why it was just like why it existed basically and up here was just some bookshelves and down here okay i remember it now 
it's like a lava sort of, yeah like a lava sort of like tunnel thing and this brings up just some basic redstone brings up an iron walkway where you can come and collect nothing but the, yes, there used to be a disc in there and then there's one other thing and I've kind of forgotten what it was then we move into here now for this I'm going to go into game mode survival because there's a few things in here that I want to point out first of all because it's an older version of Minecraft obviously this was back when these things didn't need blaze rods so I'm gonna have to give myself some of them oh wow I suddenly stumbled across 64 blaze rods so I'll put that in there and then we'll get to some uh, brewing and I'm only brewing because there's a little secret in this map that I distinctively remember in my head so then here it just teach you about the basics of melons and like sugarcane and stuff like that there is water here right just double checking so that's that's done then we can move on to here and it, then and then here it basically tells you to just go through like crafting recipe not crafting uh brewing recipes like you can make potions and stuff and it makes you make a fire resistance potion which will probably lead on to the secret entrance i've been on about this entire time so you take a fire resistance potion you chug it you throw the bottle in there and then you wander through the lava yep through the lava not caring about a thing and into here where there did used to be a double chest i do remember there being a double chest here obviously there's not that's a bit annoying but nothing i can do and that's basically it for the bottom floor i do believe there is probably into going to, there's probably some finer detail i can go into but i'm not going to because i don't really remember it and that's not of interest so let's move through into the upstairs area i'll put myself back into creative where things start to calm down a bit and yet escalate a bit so here we have just a nice double bed area and also guys later in the video i'm going to be recreating my first ever minecraft house so stick around if you want me to, if you want to see that because it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be weird we then move over here to like a guest bedroom i presume but then here if you notice you can't get through thomas you can't get through there must be nothing in there well that's where you'd be wrong because if we take a stroll in here and flick this lever note box play and they are just through this wall i remember that I'm trying to find them anyway note box play and also you were meant to open it opened i know nether portal here nothing too interesting but in the i can remember in like the first ever tutorial world of minecraft the nether portal used to be in the minecraft sign but that now it's just hollow i checked before there's nothing in there then we also have a little uh, chest on the top here with a bow and a music disc. And there's also like a little trend on this where you're basically looking for all the music discs. And now we're back in the courtyard area and I'm going to take you through this bit. And this bit's a bit, bit more dull compared to everything else. We just have cows and sheep and wolves, chickens, pigs. Breeding stuff we used to be in here, obviously the three versions didn't come over. Just farming, basically. Yeah, that version, that uh, site is a little bit dull. But I can remember now, if we move over here, we have what I called a witch hut back then. And this thing was pretty cool. If you go in, basically everything looked normal, but then there's a secret door! You head down the secret door of death and doom. And you should stumble across another music disc and then after ch after checking the what I, I used to call it a witch's hut I don't know if it actually is or not I don't think it is that's what I used to call it I'm going to head back to the courtyard because there's one more thing that's just popped into my mind that I used to I remember now here I swear okay in my head there's a chest under here and i don't know if i'm just imagining it or not but i think it had a sword in okay there is a chest okay that's actually really really happy that because i thought there was a chest in here and oh, a sword i'm gonna leave that in there obviously because we're in creative and stuff oh wait, what are these slabs what's the slabs 
Anyway, there's two more things I want, I want to check out in this video. If we head over here, past the original spawn island, and into this castle. And if I remember correctly, there's a pickaxe in that chest, but I'm not going to check it yet. We'll go through the middle, turn right up. A bit, a bit empty in here, but you know, that's fine. Out into the open. Boom. Pickaxe and the ward disc. And there's one last place in here that I think is pretty cool. But just to prove it, guys, uh, there is nothing in this side. Just, look, it's just, it's just completely hollow. There's nothing in it. It is pretty cool, though, how they managed, how they stuck a big Minecraft sign above it. That is really cool. But now, if I'm just going to grab a quick minecart, because, as you may see, we're in for a little ride here, guys. So, this actually used to really, really excite me going on this. So, let's hop on. And let's go for a little crap. Oh, I thought that was almost going to work then for a second. This works both ways. Revolutionary tech in the old Minecraft era. And that is the minecart ride. I remember I like broke some of this and like brought it around in a circle before. That's what I remember. We'll then go down here into what is basically a desert temple. Before desert temples were around. This is before they were generated in the world. Head down here. You hit the pressure plate. Some paper drops, which I don't believe used to be paper, but it is now. We then move into here. There's a music disc. I think there was something else, but obviously it's been a while, so I've kind of forgot. So now, guys, the last thing to do in this world is to make my first ever Minecraft house. And there wasn't really much in it. I know I nicked the cauldron. Uh, I nicked the brewing stand as well. I nicked the bed. They were red beds back then, weren't they? Red beds. There was a crafting table. Obviously a furnace. And I think that could have been it. If I'm right. I really don't think there was much. But it was really good for me. There was also black wool. And I can remember in my head the exact layout of this, by the way. I know it sounds a bit crazy and like I'm lying, but I'm not. About... Six years ago today, and I can still remember the exact layout of how my house went. So, this is how it went, guys. Bed, there. Black wool in both these corners like this. We then had a furnace there, a crafting table there, a brewing stand there. Not three in this corner, sorry, I just remembered. That and that. This was my first ever Minecraft base. And with that being the first ever Minecraft base... I believe that should be where we end the video. So if you guys did really enjoy this video and you do want to see more content like this, then please do hit that like button and subscribe. It will obviously mean a lot and then we can start pumping out more content for more people. That's that's all I want, I want to do. So thank you so much for watching this video. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.